In today's video, I'm going to show you how to core an apple and use it and cut it up and use it for a nice display or for pies or something like that. To cut this apple nicely for apple pie or even just, just to display it on a tray or a plate, this is, uh, this is a great way to go about it. Peeling is optional. I'll go ahead and peel it today though, because most people, if you're gonna use it for apple pie, you would, you'd peel it. And for display, it could, go, it could go either way. Sometimes when I'm making a tray and I want to you know, add some color to it, I'll take apples with different, different skin colors. But either way, however you decide skin on or skin off, this method will give you something to make your platters look nice and your apple pies look nice. But you say, why does it matter if my apple pie looks nice? All the apples are on the inside. Because it matters. Okay. So there's our scrap. So take your apple and we're gonna cut it in half. Then you're gonna cut it in quarters. And then what you'll do is you're just going to tilt the apple up just a little bit and cut that piece, cut the core off that way. Again, you can tilt it up, cut it that way. And then from here, most of the time when I teach you how to cut, I teach you to keep your knife on one side and your hand on the other. This is one of those few times I let you break and come across, right? And so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna slice and I'm gonna put my finger across the other side. Just, usually just the first few, and then it gets easier, and I'm cutting it in nice thin pieces, because I'm gonna show you how to display it first. Take it all the way to the end, and then it sits nice and flat already as it is, and then you can just push it. And then it, it shingles beautifully, and you can put it on a plate so it looks gorgeous on a plate. So once again, here you go. Again, I jump my finger over just to help keep it together because food looks better when it's in its natural order, the order that, um, the order that you cut it. If, if your food comes apart and you try to piece it back together, it never looks quite the same. So we always want to try to keep it together so that you look good. Okay. Again, you can give it a press stretch it out, and then it can go displayed on your plate. And if you're cutting apple pie, it's the same thing, although I don't think it matters if you're gonna keep them together because they will get mixed when you're making your pie. But I like this particular shape because they're a nice, a nice small size, so when you're eating your apple pie, you get, nice, you get a, a piece in every bite without trying to cut through long pieces and then your pie tears apart cutting it. So there you have it.